Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5, subject EVS, Environmental Studies. Lesson 5, Natural Resources, part 3. In part 1 and part 2 of this lesson, we learned about uh, what are the different natural resources what are the two different types of natural resources? That is, renewable resources and non-renewable resources. For renewable resources, the examples were solar energy, air, water, soil, forest, etc. Non-renewable resources like uh, coal, iron, petrol, diesel, all these things are the examples for non-renewable resources. Now, we are going to learn about forests. So, in this video, we are going to learn about forests. Forests are the natural habitat of wild animals and birds. They are the natural habitats of wild animals and birds. They provide the necessary food to the plants and many useful materials to man. We are a lot, uh, we are very dependent on the forest, mainly for the uh, air we breathe in, right? Then they, it provides us necessary food. There are so many uses of water, uh, forest. Like uh, we use the wood from the forest to make houses or the carpentry work. Any table or chairs, dining tables that we use in a house are the wood that is extracted from the forest itself. Then medicinal plants like amla, neem, tulsi, aloe vera plant and satviya. Sativa. These plants uh, have a lot of medicinal values. Okay, uh, they uh, in, in, improve our immunity power. They fight against cold, like tulsi uh, is used to fight against cold and cough. Amla is good for health. It in, increases our immunity power. Neem is also very good for our health. All these things are uh, we get it from the forests itself. Then uh, basket making. Uh, basket to make these baskets the bamboo sticks are extracted from the forest itself then collection of rubber juice from this rubber juice only uh, from this rubber plant rubber juice is collected and this rubber is used for making uh, different uh, components okay then the dining table in your house you will have dining table or tables right the dining tables or wooden dining tables or tables are made from the wood that are extracted from the forests itself the other uses of the forest are honeybee what uh, the honey that we collect that we get in our house are collected from the forests itself and the beautiful flowers there are different flowers and the fragrance we use the flowers for making uh, perfumes and everything right uh, flowers also have uh, many medicinal values also so these flowers are extracted from the uh, forests itself so there are many 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 uses of forest like this now we are going to see uh, uh, everybody says that destruction of forest is destruction of life isn't isn't that true absolutely destruction of forest if you don't conserve the forest if you don't save the forest one day it will affect our life itself if you keep taking and do not uh, and if you don't protect the forest it is going to uh, harm us directly okay so forests are also known uh, are also one of the natural resources right they are the one of the natural resources they provide fruits flowers medicinal plants wood etc all these things we get from forest now forests are the shelter for tribals there are tribal people who live in forest their livelihood is in forest itself they keep roaming in the forest collecting food and they live in forest itself forest prevents soil erosion Soil erosion means washing of the or blowing away of the top soil. It prevents the soil erosion. Soil erosion, the top soil is very necessary for the growth of plants and trees. So, um, the forest prevents the soil erosion. 
the trees give out oxygen and increase the quantity in the atmosphere the trees that are there are lots of trees present in the forest right they give out a lot of oxygen and increase the quantity of the oxygen in the air which is very very important for us very very necessary for us right we breathe every moment of our life and we need oxygen to breathe uh, every moment of our life so the quantity of oxygen is increased by the forest itself such useful and valuable forests are being destroyed for various human activities like urbanization industrialization and constructions of dams etc here you can see the pictures of urbanization urbanization means when a new city is formed when a new city is formed urban urban city is formed usually they break uh, they cut down the trees of the forest and only construct the buildings okay and they don't uh, grow trees so that leads to the destruction of the forest industrialization industrialization means lot of industries start coming up like many factories which give out exhaust uh, which exhaust uh very poisonous gases into the air all these things they are constructed by destroying the forest destructing the forest itself and constructions of dams also we construct dams to uh, save water in our land okay to use it later so to construct those dams we have to destruct so many uh forest life so many for plants and trees have to be killed for uh, the constructions of the forest so we must not forget that destructions of forest is destruction of life if we keep this continuously going on it is going to affect our life itself that is why we have to learn to conserve the forest conservation of forest conservation means protecting the forest from being harassed of protecting the forest from from being um from being destructed okay <coughs> sorry so uh forest can be constructed by restricting unnecessary felling of trees felling of trees means cutting down of the trees unnecessary cutting of trees should not be done because the forest have many old trees very very old trees are present if you just cut them off it is going to affect the forest so you should not only with the production of oxygen many insects and birds live on those trees if you cut down those trees it's going to affect the life of so many animals then tree planting should be promoted you should keep planting trees making big for a small tree uh, you should keep planting more and more trees making it a big forest proper usage of the forest products we should not um, how do you say you should not use excess of the forest products okay you should leave enough for the forest also to be conserved then cutting down uh, tree branches causing forest fires this also should be uh, stopped as much as possible okay we should not cut down the trees we should not cut down their branches now we are going to see some of the government uh, amendments that are made by the government to protecting the forest government has made amendment to the national forest policy in 1988 and also taken many steps to nurture and conserve the forest now first one the government has may, uh, may, is maintaining and conserving village national forest through the forest department we have a separate department called the forest department in our government which works for protecting and conserving the forest that is already present then uh, village panchayat and local community protect the social forests all the people who are living near the forest they protect the forest instead of harassing the forest then national parks and wildlife sanctuaries some forests are identified and preserved along with its wildlife we have to keep our wildlife if we are not protecting our wildlife if we are not protecting our forest in future generations they will have to see the wildlife only in the pictures how we can go and see the tiger lion zebra giraffe all these animals we can go and see them live right if we don't protect them if we don't
can't conserve them in the future generation they will only have to see them in the pictures they cannot see them directly now examples for national parks and wildlife sanctuaries banneru gatta and bandipur forest are protected by making many laws felling of trees smuggling of wood hunting wild animals are punishable offenses all these things have been stopped you are not supposed to smuggle the wood smuggling means without informing the government you are taking the wood from the uh, forest that will be the smuggling of woods then hunting wild animals killing the wild animals is a punishable offense okay you will be put in the jail if you try to kill the wild animals some religious beliefs and rituals are also helpful to conserve forests now there are some tribals like nagabana of dakshina kannada and uh, devara kadu located in kodugu here the people itself are protecting the uh, trees and they prohibit the cutting down of the trees now many movements have taken place against deforestation where uh, the implement of several mega projects were imposed now first uh, movements that were uh, that underwent for protecting the forest are panduranga hegde initiated the apiko movement a p p i k o apiko movement to prevent deforestations in the western ghats rich in diversified wildlife in karnataka we human beings are very selfish we always want to keep taking things from others or we keep want to keep taking things from forests or the natural resources okay we are very selfish we don't think about how the forest is going to survive so these some these are some people who worked for protecting the forest so that it uh, our future generation will have something to live upon then environmentalist of kerala successfully solved a hydroelectric power scheme proposed by the government in silent valley by conducting silent valley movements then say forest the jungle bachao movement triggered in bihar for the conservation of the forest reached even jharkhand and odisha and saved many forest like this there are people who protect the trees they protect the forest they know the importance of the forest even we should be the one, one of those people who protect these forest who protect the plants who protect the wildlife who protect the trees next is sundarlal uh, sundarlal bahuguna uh, opposed cutting down of trees by well known chap chipko movement in himalaya region and thus saved many forest what in this chipko movement what they did is when people came down to cut down the trees they uh, people hugged the tree uh making a human chain they hug the tree and did not let the uh, the people who had come to cut down the trees to cut down the trees and protected the uh, trees they protected the forest thereafter it was called the chipko movement next this is uh, as you can see in the picture uh, her name is salumarada timmakka she is the proud doctor sorry proud daughter of karnataka and is also known as vrikshamate she is known as vrikshamate throughout the country okay she is well known for protecting the trees she has planted thousands of trees throughout her lifetime okay she has planted those small plants may water them every day she took the care took care of them like their like it was her own kids now we'll see a little bit about her lifetime okay so salumarada timmakka a proud daughter of karnataka is known as vrikshamate throughout the country daughter of vijayamma and chikara chikarangayya of gubbi taluk tumkuru district timmakka was married to bikkala chikkayya of hulikal village and stayed there later on she has planted and protected banyan tree besides the road from the village of hulikal to kadur Uh, with the help of her husband from uh, the road which connects hulikal to kadur there she has protected the she has planted and protected the banyan trees uh, on both the sides of the road considering these trees as her children timakka dedicated her entire life for them hence so, hence uh, 
sanitarian thimmakka is called salu marada thimmakka the government of karnataka has declared a project called salu marada thimmakka neralu yojane in its budget 2014 and 15 in honor of salu marada thimmakka hundreds of awards have been conferred for her immense concern towards nature the important awards are nadoja award by karnataka university hampi karnataka rajyotsava award indira priyadarshini vriksha mitra award given by government of india parisara ratna award these are the four awards important awards that been given to her and many other awards have also been provided to salu marada timmakka for her dedication in protecting the trees salu marada timmakka is a role model for all of us in conservation of the environment her concerns towards the environment environment is remarkable and it should be followed by us okay so uh, the remaining part of the lesson will be completed in the next uh, video stay at home stay safe stay home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children please read the textbook whenever you find time and learn the new words that are being given in your textbook thank you take care